Well, people are scared. People are afraid. Uh, the sense of fear, and when you talk to these people, you know you have to think twice before moving from one place to the other. If you have a doctor's appointment, or if you go to college, or if you want to go see family that they live in a different part of uh, the West Bank, you have to actually calculate that and see if it's safe enough for you to move around. And then the reason I'm saying safe enough is is because of the long hours on the checkpoints to moving around, and also for settler violence. We have seen a lot of increase of settler violence after October 7th in the West Bank. And uh, this is creating a lot of stress and a lot of fear uh, within the Palestinian themselves. So you have to calculate every single move uh, and and this is really disturbing. Um, who, who wants some, yes, go ahead. I just wanted to ask you what sort of impact this is having on the Palestinian Authority. Well, yeah, you can imagine the Palestinian Authority and the way it was put put out uh, after October 7th. You know, they've been trying for years and years, trying to uh, provide a state uh, for its citizens. And now with all these Israeli measures, tax cuts, unemployment, uh, over half a million of Palestinians without work, and uh, the uh, the Palestinian Authority is providing the minimum that it can uh, with all these deductions, not money coming in, 70% of aid that's been cut off for the last few years by the uh, international community, Israeli deduction uh, on uh, on money coming in into uh, uh, the PA also. They're only paying around 60 to 70 percent of salaries, uh, job loss, um, the, uh, uh, the closure of crossing. You know, we had over uh, 300 to 400,000 workers working inside Israel after October 7. This was all uh, cut off. So these people are left without jobs. So you can imagine how these uh, uh, Palestinian citizens look at the government. You're supposed to give us uh, a state. You're supposed to protect us. You're supposed to uh, give us a better life. And all this is not being given the way it should be because they are being hindered and undermined by the, all the Israeli measures that, uh, that's that been taken. And the Israel, this Israeli government has no intention of making any deal with the Palestinian uh, authority.